John Samuel Schenker, who's a tight end who lines up in front of Bigsby. He has the first down, bulls his way across the 35-yard line. Hard-nosed team under Harson. They spent a lot of time on old-fashioned fundamentals. They have a hard-nosed quarterback who's in the end zone. Bo Nix caps the opening drive for the Tigers. Blocking in with the receivers and then leading out. And Bo Nix, it was a designed quarterback run. They seal the edge. Great block by the tight end, Luke Deal. And Bo Nix knows how to find the end zone. Impressive first drive for the Auburn Tigers to take a 7-0 lead. Play clock at one. Design rollout for Corral. He's in trouble and chopped down behind the line of scrimmage by Zacoby McLean. 29-yard try from just inside the right hash mark. And it is good. even though he's missing some of his best weapons out on the outside. Tank Bigsby, the running back here for Auburn. Big hole, big run. Big man in the Rebel territory to the 46-yard line. They line up the tight end, Shanker, as a fullback. Boy, he's got the other tight end. And unfortunately for Auburn, it needed to be a diving catch by Luke Deal. He's going to go right down here. A little miscommunication because everybody's rushing the quarterback. They lead that area void. And he did not start last week due to injury. Their last game. Up and over and in. Tank Bigsby with the second Auburn touchdown of the night. Look at this touchdown play. One tight end, two tight end, three tight end. And then this guy right here is J.J. Pegues, who's a defensive lineman that they put in there. Another big body. And Tank Bigsby over the top for the touchdown. So Auburn feeling like they could establish the line of scrimmage. They're bigger. They're more physical. And it's paying off for them right now with the run game and a 14-3 lead. Home of their arch rival, Mississippi State, is 0 for 4. Throwing collegiate passes. And a bizarre play to be welcomed to this one. He got blasted at the 22. Final 10 seconds of the opening quarter. Knicks look like a design run from the beginning, and he slides down with a two-yard loss with Tylen Knight approaching rapidly. Alien Zierer now in at left tackle. Made his first career start last week and did well. Nick's in trouble. He got away from Williams. Now Campbell in hot pursuit. Bo Nix did well to hang on to the ball. And actually that worked out better for the Rebels as he kept retreating and wound up. And we wondered during the break if they might go to him at quarterback, but he doesn't really see reps in practice much at quarterback. A deflection off one Rebel, and it's caught by Jacor Pearson. <laughs> Yeah, normally, I don't think they'd be going through all of what we have seen there along their sideline. Out of the pistol. Look out. Altmeyer planted back at the 43 by Zacoby McLean. 90% coming into the game. Well, maybe it helps to have both ankles balanced. They both hurt. Beautiful throw, and here will come the analytics as Jacor Pearson is down about two yards short of the first down, and no hesitation. Drummond, their leading receiver, has yet to get a catch in the ball game. Snoop Connor has the touchdown. That is his specialty. When they get near the goal line, it's short yardage or goal to go. They lean heavily on Snoop Connor. Um, Umana, who started the game as a center, he's at right guard now. Bryce Ramsey's at center. They get a double team right there at the point of attack and open up a big hole for. And they've taken the ball away. 12 takeaways. All day for Bo Nix and a wide open receiver. Demetrius Robertson out of bounds at the 20. Jalen Jones. He missed four games, returned for their win at Tennessee. Nix keeps it. Wide open pass to the end zone. Has rushed for two. It's 21-10, Tigers. And they said Braylon Sanders may be in red zone situations, but we've seen very little of him. He's not out there now. Corral 
on two bad ankles into the end zone with a touchdown. This dude's a warrior, man. Oh, I'm telling you, he is a warrior. And a lane to run. He wanted to throw it at first, but why not run? A lot of room there. You want to hold the Tigers to a field goal try. Four man rush. Wide open and a touchdown. Jarquez Hunter. Here's the running back, Hunter. He's going to come and stop right here. The guy who's going to get frozen is this freshman safety, Tyseem Johnson, number 27. As the back releases, he's the number three receiver on that side. The safety just gets flat footed, and nobody picks up Hunter. Beautiful play design and call for the touchdown here right at the end of the half. Actually, they got three tight ends this time. With his new coaching staff, Nick's under center more than he's been in the past. Wide open, Luke Deal, the tight end. Or Tyler Fromm, 85, not 86. To punt the football, play a little field position right now. And that ground punted four times, including on fourth and two, and the crowd booed. Whoa, there's a muff! And it looks like Ole Miss has it. Demetrius Robertson could not catch the punt, and that's just the break. Corral and the Rebels needed. Well, first of all, the punt was nearly blocked. He got it off, and then just right through the wickets. Robertson is there. Never makes a clean catch. What a nice weekend it was for the Manning family. The last name Manning painted in each end zone in Oxford. On second and five. Play action pass. Corral is a man wide open. And it's a first down for Jacor Pearson. Has the leg to get it from here. There's a very light breeze at his back. Really shouldn't be a factor. And he drives the hook through. You can see these receivers, they're, they're, they're a little confused. It's new groups in there trying to get lined up. And they are deep down the depth chart at wide receiver, and they still make a play. It's Jacor Pearson into Auburn territory to the 44-yard line. Smoke Monday made the tackle. And Nick's again under center, something he had done very little in his football career prior to this year. Bigsby. Tank Bigsby. To midfield. 39 yard line. Now they're getting close to field goal range, which would put it back to a two score game. They want a touchdown. It's Kobe Hudson inside the 15. Of course, you want your pilot to get the vast majority of it right, and apparently Carlson <laughs> did. And he got the field goal right as well. Heard Luke Kiffin, uh, Lane Kiffin say at the half he would run Corral as much as he needed to. It's a beautiful throw to Dennis Jackson, who spins his way down inside the 30 to the 27 yard line. But Corral won't have the big numbers tonight in all likelihood, but this is impressive given what he's working with. Trying to escape the rush, and he did. Sets and fires into traffic. A terrible mistake. Threw back over the middle, and it's picked off by Jalen Simpson. Simpson is going to just play it. He rolls to the right. He gets away from pressure. Now, he only sees half the field. He doesn't see Simpson come from behind the play. A dangerous throw anyway back towards the middle. That's one Matt Corral probably should have just thrown out of the back of the end zone. Here's Kobe Hudson. And I didn't believe Mike Bobo. I didn't believe Ball Ryan Harson, I should say. Ball is out. Looked like he was down. No, they're they're going to ruin a, a takeaway by Chance Campbell. They hadn't been successful doing that so far. I think it was DeAndre the Prince. ball was out. Yeah, Prince is the guy who ripped the ball out. And Chance Campbell is the guy who comes up with it. The receiver was stood up. Plumley goes in motion again. Slant caught. Pearson continues his huge night. He gets collared at the 25 yard line. He says, My son will be fine. He'll just keep fighting. He'll keep competing. And that's exactly what he did. And that's why Auburn is where they are right now in control of their own destiny in the SEC West. It's just them, the Tigers, and Alabama.
with one loss now in the SEC West. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.